everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Guacamelee the Gold Edition. So as you may have remembered last time, we uh, got turned into a chicken. The mighty of all, the mightiest of all foes, Calica, decided to kind of just turn us into this cute little chicken that's trapped in an egg. I know I've seen the chicken outside of the egg, so I don't know if that's just part of our costume. I might have mentioned this before. Or if, uh, or if we're actually gonna break free of the burdens of the leg, of the egg later on and not, not have to worry about that. We've also got this weird temporary switch right here. I'm not really sure what it does though. It probably unlocks something that's above us if I were to levy a guess. So let's actually wait for the time to run out uh, once and then we'll pull the lever and see if we could do anything with it up top. So let's go ahead and try this out right now. If we could actually do it, what's wrong with you, Mr. Guacamole Man? Okay, here we go. Jump! Uh, we, no, we need to make these jumps to be able to make it on time. Okay, okay. Now we run up here, go, go, go. Maybe maybe we'll even stay in chicken mode since we seem to move really fast as a chicken. Is there even anything that we do with that? Oh, God! We fell down a while. I have absolutely no idea what uh, what you're supposed to do with that switch. We'll, we'll maybe figure that out eventually, but uh, at least as of the time being, I don't think that's really anything we need to worry about. Is this a- yeah, this is where the bridge was, right? With that angry, um, lion man thing guy was chillin'? I, I think that's where he was. Get some free stuff right here. I'm not entirely sure why- I, I, I think we're actually probably supposed to go towards the left here. So let's actually go ahead, uh, check out back all these- these walls and barriers that we could break right away. Oh no! I went way, way, way too far. Um... Because were we supposed to go to Santa Lucita? It's been a long time since I've played this game. So I'm not exactly sure where we do indeed have to go. Okay, okay, nice! The map actually helps us with that. We need to go to uh, Pueblucho, which is up and uh, that a ways. So we might as well go ahead and check out here, see whatever secrets we have. Looks like for the most part it might only be gold to start off with, or at least in this container right here. Which is a little bit disappointing, but you know, oh, so close. Uh, that that should make this a lot easier to break through though, uh, to say the least. If, if I could stop being a foolish fool, let's do a... Okay, yeah, let's do it that way. We'll do a super meat boy jump. Go, go, like, uh, come on, grab the wall. I've played a lot of super meat boy lately. I should be able to handle this. There we go. That, that, that wasn't all that bad. At least not as bad as some of the other, uh, platforming puzzles that we have had in this game. But it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm, I'm, I... I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to be heading and why. I believe it was just because we know that Kalka's girlfriend, that weird, uh, mysterious lady, is kind of chilling along that way, and I think we're just trying to make our way to her. Ah, awesome! I was pre- Oh, no! <laughs> I was literally about to say, that was pretty easy. Oh, God. Now, of course, it's probably going to be, like, really hard for me to make this jump, but we will be able to get it. In fact, we got it right there. Probably just need to go into chicken mode for that? Yeah, that was actually a hundred times easier than I made it. Got one heart piece. Let's go ahead and uh, not go into chicken mode for now, just so we could get up here a little bit faster. Even though actually it kind of didn't really matter in the whole scheme of things since that thing came back. You should be able to get game over by trying to exit chicken mode when you're like under a really... When you're, like, in a really tight space, like, you just make the whole thing open up and kill you or something like that, that would be... That would be really dramatic and quite depressing, to be completely honest, but, uh... It would also be pretty funny, to say the least. How do we do, like, the dust boot move and all that jazz again? Um, I'm going to have to test around with that, try to figure it out again. Uh, is this... have we been here before? That's what I want to figure out right now. I know that this is probably the alternate way to get back to where we had traveled before. Um, okay, it is press B in a direction to do all those moves. I just want to make sure that there's nothing that we're actually skipping by going through all of this. I don't think that's the case. Let's let's go ahead and just wander on back. We'll make sure we refrain from wasting uh, any time. Because we gotta save our girlfriend on top of obviously trying to make this, uh, an entertaining episode and all that jazz. Is there anything down here? No! Oh yeah, we definitely came this way before! Okay! Oh! 
So this is like reconnecting the paths. Ah, yes, yes, yes! This was the wall where there was a barrier right here. We, we actually came to this exact location in the past. So obviously we don't need to mess with any of that. Let's let's uh, continue meandering about. Is there anything down here? There's a blue wall. We don't have any way of destroying that currently. Or at least I'm pretty sure we don't. And uh, this just once again leads us to a location we have been in the past. Kind of makes me wonder that there might be a chicken secret down into the left or something like that. But we might as well just keep on moseying on along our journey. So, oh, come on, me. <laughs> that was such a, such a sad jump. Can the chicken make it? No, okay. We'll just have to keep on doing our... Our... Whatever attack jump thing? I don't really remember what it was called, but that's actually... Okay, this this one will be easy enough. Just, oh, are you kidding me? I'm such a fool! I, I am a terrible at video games, apparently, guys. Like, that was a really, really stupid mistake on my part. Double jump there, get on up. And now let's go ahead and take down that evil lady. Really? Like, I don't think there's any way we could win this lady over because she's, like, freaking in love with Calica. But we could, we could just go ahead and say goodbye to our girlfriend and try to, like, fall and make her fall in love with us. I mean, we're 100% superior to Calica in every way. I mean, we've actually got flesh on our bones, unlike Calica, or unless maybe for whatever reason she might be into the whole bone thing. Uh, get out of my way, Mr. Skeleton. That's weird. Apparently there's, like, absolutely no reason to go through this bottom way and no real reason- OH GOD! No real reason to go up top as well. We have- oh my god, we are the dodging masters! I'm loving this. Thank god you can, uh, dodge roll through enemies too. That would be a real pain if you weren't able to go ahead and do that. I think we're- we're getting pretty close to our home. Oh shoot, more dead people. What's up, Mr. Man? Just because this is the dead world doesn't mean we're down all the time. Take today, for instance. I am prepared. I am preparing a great fiesta for all of my amigos. Uh, yeah, looks like it. This is gonna be quite a nice fiesta once you set it all up. Hopefully, he'll inv invite me. I mean, we just met, so I imagine I'm not one of his friends or amigos, but. I would love- I would love to party at a fiesta. You should invite me. We'll be cool cats and crazy critters. Whoa. Oh my god, is this the field that that one cutscene took place in? Just probably not in the dead world. <laughs> the one where our girlfriend was, like, feeling really sad for us because we got beat up by some bullies when we were dressing up like a luchador. I think that's what happened in the cutscene. That was a pretty cool dark sun. Who knows, maybe it's a dark moon, but it looks like a sun. Oh, duh, that's the red one. We can't get through there. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, then, I'm pretty sure we'll end up coming back to that eventually and see what we can do, uh, do there. I got anything cool? Oh, this poor little girl! She's got a quest for us and some sick, some kick-ass VV, VV, VV statues in the back. I freaking love VV, 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 guys. So this is, this honestly might be my favorite reference in the game. Like, got Captain uh, Viridian and all the other crew. I don't really know any other names besides him. What you got, lady? When I was alive, I used to live in this house. I always enjoyed playing with my favorite toy. A luchador action figure. Come on, girl, you got you got six VVV VVV characters there. They're so much cooler than a luchador statue. They should be your favorite toys. It was the most fun to play with. She probably wants that toy then, if I were to imagine. All right, so we'll have to come back to her when we're actually. Oh, we're we're at this location where the where the mask was. Punch that uh, luchador statue in the face. We're getting pretty damn close to where we started off our journey. Hopefully there will be a portal to the human world somewhere nearby. Uh, we are able to get down here. Is there any reason to come down here? Oh, there totally is. The the lady's chilling down here. Looks like we'll have to go back to the human world to get back out as well. So hopefully that won't take us all that long. Oh, and that's a corridor apparently. Let's see what we have in store for us up here. Ah, yes, we found her. Awesome sauce. Apparently this is like her home base since she has like a m mural depicting her and all of her evil skeleton-like glory behind her. 
Luchador, how did you find me here? I'm really not in the mood. I've got a headache. Just leave me to my loneliness. You want me to help you? You mean... Oh, you men are all the same. Charming and available when you want something. But completely occupied as soon as uh, an annoying, entitled, prissy trout enters the picture. Just like that jerk, Calica! Oh my god, she's doing like the forward moonwalk to us again. Or the roller skate slide. I wonder if she has roller skates under that uh, dress. Sigh. Luchador, I'm sorry to lose my composure. I'm just not used to being so neglected. Is it too much to ask for a little affection? Ah, stop using roller skates! <laughs> we can all be lonely at times, can't we, Luchador? In need of some tenderness, some emotion, some arousal. Uh, hell yeah, lady! <laughs> Come at me, Luchador. Take me in your burly arms. Oh god! That was mean. Predictable fool! Uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't have fallen for that. <laughs> I, I'm so I wanted to see what would happen and besides I was saying like maybe we should try to coax her Anyways try and make her fall in love with us, but yeah, uh, clearly she's not going for it apparently Soon you'll be my slave then I can have some real fun. Oh Here we go Zatabe you're going down Zatabe uh, apparently she could tell oh my god Apparently she could teleport and summon weird, like, uh, butterflies or moths? Oh, I want- I, I want why her! I want why her so much! Go why her. Ah! Stop shooting, like, moths or butterflies at me. Apparently we don't have invisibility flames- I mean, uh, frames when- When, uh, we're doing our B-up attack, which is a little bit of a pain, but you know, that's okay. Let's, uh, do- ah, oh, no! Crap. I am handling this boss fight so freaking poorly. Okay, we d dodge roll first, me. Dodge roll before anything else, so we- Oh no! We can't dodge roll it out of them? Okay, these are red enemies, apparently. I was not uh, aware of that, so that's something that we're going to have to be a lot more cautious of in our future. Dodge roll in! Oh, <laughs> that was so cool! I love the combat system in this game so much. She is really healthy, though. I think we might die before we get any chance to actually uh, defeat her or anything like that. Oh, Joe! Oh! Okay, that was new. Let's uh, jump. Ah, you freaking jerkwad. Okay, we know we know her attack patterns this time, so we'll be able to defeat her quite easily, I think. So we just dodge roll in. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh! Eventually, we're going to get the Y off on her, and then she's gonna be. Don't dodge roll into it. Don't attack first, too. <laughs> I'm so freaking bad at this boss fight, apparently. Okay, why? Yes! Oh, man, okay. We could've hit her a little bit more. Missed our chance, but that's okay. Well, what? Ah, oh, shoot. Stop doing the portal dimension attack, lady. I don't like it. The good thing about, actually, this scenario is with the platform there, we should actually... Oh, we should actually get a much nicer chance at being able to hit her. Ah, crap. Okay. Let's, uh, be patient for this one. She's against the wall again. Ah, no. We want to hit her the, the most when she's right against the walls, I'm thinking, because... Oh, so close! Almost got her a little bit more. Ne next one we should be able to show her who's boss, I think. Can we hit her when... Yes, we can hit her when she does that. Okay. Lady! She's got so much health! She's like the beefiest of all bosses. I, I don't like it. <laughs> ah, crap. Almost got her again. I, I would really love to see some, like, expert players at Guacamelee, because I am obviously anything but an expert, but this game would probably look so cool seeing some really good players, like, do, uh, some badass combos and stuff like that. Ah! Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and smack her a little here. Ah, we jumped right into that one. That was so unfortunate. Crap. We do have a lot of health, though. If we have been healing health, I haven't really been noticing what's been doing it. Ah! Just give up, Luchador. Your fate is sealed. 
You will not leave this cave alive. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shoot. She's trying other things now. Uh, okay, so she does a crazy thunderstorm. Luckily, that didn't really seem to do much of anything. Stop doing- Oh, God! Oh, she, okay, she is no match for us. All we need to do- All we need to do is keep doing the beat up on her, and she is absolute toast. There's no way, uh, she'll be able to counter us or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I want to wire again, but we got freaking cussing. How amusing that you presume to have the strength to defeat me! Many men have come to my lair before you. Their skulls adorn the walls. Do they? Oh god! Well, she made a clone! That's not fair! Ah, oh, and she's got those freaking stupid shields on her now. So let's see, um... This is actually... Oh my god, this is shaping up to be really difficult. Let's take out the, the clone who's got no shield first. I think that would definitely be a smart way to handle things. Or at least the shield that I think would be easier to handle. Oh, come on! Did we at least take down her shield? We did! Okay, she's toast! There's no way she could conquer us now. No, don't do that, lady! Okay, thank you. Okay, now we just have the yellow shield to deal with. And a bit. Oh! Ah, we ran right into it. I want dust boot you! Dust boot is so freaking hard to do! Okay, white dust boot! Yes! <laughs> I really like the dust boot move, if you guys haven't noticed. It's It's got a certain amount of charm to it. Oh, nice! We could actually break her shield from within. That's really cool. You have been defeated, you foolish fool! Oh, Luchador! Perhaps I underestimated you, but I think we're just in different places right now. I will spare your life. Oh, come on, lady. I destroyed you. <laughs> you know, Carlos wasn't always such a bad guy. He was once handsome and brave, not unlike you. Maybe you'd like to hear his story. Uh, sure, I guess. Let's see what she has to uh, tell us about him. Before he became Calica, Carlos was known as El Something. People called him uh, Pinnacle of Something. Only one event had eluded him, El Grand something. <laughs> he was willing to do whatever it took to win it. The night before the competition. Oh god! He's turning into a monster. Colico's- oh, Carlos broke his arm. He was devastated and did the unthinkable. Oh crap, is he gonna sell his soul to the- he is selling his soul to the devil! Oh shoot, Are, is the final boss gonna be Satan himself? I would really love that. That would be awesome. In exchange for his soul, Carlos won the competition. But just before he could claim his glory... Oh no, what, what happened? His flesh rotted and he was dragged to the underworld. Carlos felt cheated he never got the glory he wanted so badly. He swore he would have his revenge! Oh no! Carlos changed the devil into a cockfight. Oh, cha challenged him. The devil always liked challenges. With my help, Carlos turned the devil into a rooster. He did turn the devil into a rooster. Oh my god, so is the rooster that we met before... S we met Satan! We met Satan as a chicken and took over the world of the dead. His plans to merge it with the world of the living. To enslave everyone to make everyone praise him. Car Carlos really took a leap. He's like, man, I got screwed over by a bad deal with the devil, so now I'm gonna turn the devil into a chicken and enslave the entire world? Or two worlds, I suppose. That is really weird. I think Carlos needs to, like, calm down. I mean, he he turned the devil into a chicken. That That's enough glory right there. Sigh. Maybe that trout was right after all. I deserve better than Kalika, and someone needs to stop his sorry ass. Kalika and Flameface have taken Presidente's daughter to the top of Temple of War. No doubt for another one of their as asinine rituals. To reach the temple, you must first ascend the great tool tree growing from within the forest. But this will require the ability to traverse dimensions. Allow me to bestow this power upon you. Whoa, what the hell was that? 
Apparently it hurt us. But we got the dimension swap. Hell yeah. That was that was easy, wasn't it? Now just press right trigger. The power is yours. Awesome. You know what? It never goes well with these bad boy types. I wonder if that nice fray is single. I'm single? I mean, my girlfriend is kidnapped right now, so... Is there a wall right there? Yeah, there is a wall right there. What's up, lady? Dimension swapping? Just right, uh, right, just tap. Now go teach that good-for-nothing skeleton lord a lesson. Climb the mighty tool tree growing in the forest. Thanks very much, lady. Ah, we need that wall to escape this mighty prison. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to get up this, I think. Actually, oh, we just need to time it appropriately. We had the jump right there, but we had uh, bad timing. Nice, we got a uh, energy booster or whatever you would call that kind of thing. That is freaking glorious. Let's uh, go ahead and check our abilities. See if there there was another one of those. Yeah, we need the the uh, suplex. Suplex. <laughs> Oh my god, the, the our character looks so weird in that photo that was right there. Awesome, now that we got all of those though, we could start focusing on getting more health chunks and stamina chunks. I think we would prefer to work on stamina chunks though, just so we could uh, continue to prioritize how we will work on our combos. Although, although I've gotta say, four of those might be enough, uh, at least for the time being, because we don't really have... My, oh, why'd I do that? We don't really have... Why, what is wrong with me? We we don't really have enough combo potential yet to, to do anything that would require more than those four. Oh, shoot! Viva Car... Oh, Viva Carlos Viva, Viva Calica. That is so cool. Oh, God. Well, that was stupid of me. I really like... Uh, all the small details that are in this game. We've obviously seen so many of those in regards to all the references that have shown up. But this game has been, like, chocked full of references all over the place. Oh, this is the city where all these people were! So this is, like, right back at home. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's that luchador statue. Let's go ahead and quickly check in with this little girl. Oh, hello, lady. What's up? It certainly is quiet in the house these days. I just can't bring myself to get rid of her favorite toy, though. So I keep it in the cellar under the stairs. Well, sorry, lady, but I'm about to steal your daughter's favorite toy, so I hope you don't mind too much. You got the luchador figure! Does she say anything about this? I wanna see. No, she doesn't say anything. Well, one day she's gonna go into that basement and she's gonna be, like, heartbroken. That is a little bit sad. That's my favorite luchador figure! I'm so glad my mommy kept it! Ho oh, ho! Gracias, senor! Here's a present for you! It can be your own toy! I hope you like it! Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh, yes! Oh, thank you for the heart, little girl! The heart, Osborne, the heart, and it is ours now! Let's go ahead and see if there are any jobs that need to be accomplished by swapping places here? Apparently this guy lost his chickens again, so kind of a ding-dong move on his part. He needs to learn to take better care of those things. Is there anything down here? Ah, chicken! Ah, just gold. That's okay, though. The, the gold is always nice to have, especially since um, those upgrades are going to start getting really pricey. Uh, okay, so we need to go to the forest before too long. Well, we'll go ahead and wait on that for the time being, though. Is this the building that... Yeah, that's the building that we were in a little bit ago. Is there anything over here in the Land of the Dead? Oh, let's see if El Presidente's house is still on fire. Nah, looks like someone put the fire out, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> everything considered, but it makes me a little bit sad. I kind of wish the fire was still, uh... Chilling around them pots. Ah, nice try, gold. Nooks and crannies. Awesome sauce. It says 100%, so that kind of makes me think that we got all of them in the game, but I highly doubt that that is the case at all. Let's see, uh, check out the world of the dead here. 
Oh shoot, the pr the church must be like holy or something because we actually can't even warp to the world of the dead at all when we're chilling in there. That's kind of uh, bonkers and wacky and completely insane to be completely honest. Why is it completely insane? I have no idea. Did we check all of these buildings? I think we did. Oh, we, there's actually a lot of places where we can't swap to the world of the dead. That's interesting. I mean, I guess that's kind of nice. Maybe, maybe you can only warp to the world of the dead where there actually is dead people. Because, like, their presence is calling you or something like that? That's what I would have to guess. But anyways, we're just about at, uh, at that 25 minute mark. We're about to be over it. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer. And I will see you all next time.